Hey everybody, it's your old pal Ein, and I'm gonna show you something really cool today. It is this Robot Graves Industries aluminum neck. It's a replacement neck that fits on fenders. Yeah, buddy. Uh, probably a lot of squires too. It's got the uh, rounded heel, so it'll fit on a Strat or Jazzmaster or Tele, I am told. So I am going to shoot the neck swap. I've been waiting all damn day. When you do something like this, you're going to need some stuff. You're going to need a screwdriver. You're going to need a clippers, some string joy strings. They make custom sets. This is not my custom set, but it's pretty close. Uh, Robot Grave sends you cool bolts special for your aluminum neck uh, neck plate and also the aluminum polish and a couple rags. Where did I put the damn rags? There you go, rags. You gotta polish this thing like when you change strings and stuff. Also came with some nice big stickers. Put on your pedal board case or your hard case or whatever. So the other thing you need is basically a whole other guitar or a loaded body. I'm gonna do my pink Telecaster. I figured that's about the most changeable bridge and a standard neck pocket and everything. So with some setup we should be in business. Let's take those old strings off. Already got custom packaging over at Robot Graves. How about that? Cool, there's art on it too? This is how you take strings off. This is a Japanese neck, by the way. I got it from my friend Jamie Hansen. If you've listened to uh, an album from a band from Eau Claire, uh, especially the ones that got big and famous, uh, you've probably heard Jamie's work. <clears throat> Rip them out! Just yank them! Yeah, uh, take that, you stupid little strings. I'm done with you. You are in standard tuning for Summer Nam. Now you're going to be all fucked up on purpose. You can try to pull the strings through the bridge. That's kind of a waste of time. I just snip off the little curly ends, <clears throat> which is the same thing um, some people do to their pubic hair. One of the greatest things about Telecasters, in my opinion, the string through body. I don't know if it makes it sound better or different. I don't know. I love the idea of the strings whipping through the body. This, uh, this body was a Mexican-made 50s classic, and then I got a big crack in the finish. So I thought, well, I'll just finish this job right now. I took it off with a heat gun, and then I carefully spray painted this with like 300 coats of gloss pink spray paint. You want to wrap these up so uh, you don't drop one, and then the dog tries to eat it and gets a puncture wound in the throat. Now it's time to take off the old neck. I always, uh screw and unscrew my neck in like an, a crisscross pattern like a, when you tune a drum. I don't know if that's important or even relevant but the fuck else am I going to talk about? Oh I know what I'm going to talk about. Look at this. So it's called a bolt-on neck but don't these look a lot like screws? Man why don't you just call it a screw-on neck? Done! We got a nice sticky neck pocket there, you know, so the neck will stick in real good. Clunk, in it goes. Now this part is kind of my least favorite part of putting necks on anything, where you kind of like try to hold it in place and put a screw or a bolt in. Oh shit! My uh, neck mounting holes are snug. Maybe if we flip it over, I can get a better angle here. <gasps> it might not actually be too snug. It might just be friggin' full of dirty paint. From when I spray paint. Oh, look what I have. I'm gonna keep the power kinda low so I don't go overboard. I think that caught. Woohoo! 
Yeah, I think those are in. I'm not gonna do the final tightening till all four are in. Again, I don't know if that's important to do. It's just the way I do it. All right. Damn it! All right, don't do that to your new guitar. Give it a fresh dimple. People like dimples on faces, not guitar bodies. I'm gonna turn the power up. Back it up. Drive it in. Drive it in. Drive it in. Drive it in. Let's see if we can get that one any further. Oh yeah. Got a couple turns left in it. Mm-hmm. Bam! Bam! An aluminum neck on this Telecaster. Looks friggin' sick, bruh. Sick, bro. Sick as heck. Now the stringing. String joy! Scott, string joy, uh, you can use that theme song if you want. Um, I'll finish up the instrumentation in a couple weeks. String joy! Remember to recycle your paper parts. So this nut was actually cut for my custom gauges. So this setup might be a little wonky, but like I said, I think it's close enough to at least get a good idea. If it's too fucked up, I'll just use more distortion. Snip it. Leave a little slack and snip it. Put it through the hole that you have in the tuners. What? Oh Jesus. These are fancy tuners. I actually don't know how they work. There we go. Oh, I was worried for a moment. And I think we go righty tighty. I'll have to do some research on these tuners. Here we go, ski. Not exactly the tone I was going for. So when you're putting new strings on, don't freak out if they're fretting out, like especially before all the strings are on. Because once all the strings are on, they're pulling on the headstock. When you get them all on, the headstock that was straight up is gonna get pulled a little bit towards the body. So you get a little bit of a rise. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need to raise these saddles up given how fuzzy we are right now, but that's all part of putting a new friggin' neck on. New friggin' neck! Hey, I did it. I got all the strings on. All six strings. I also managed to get 10 million more fingerprints on it. The bridge, nowhere near ready. We are, we are fretting out right off the bat. When that happens, you need to get your tiny shitty tools. Now, there's a variety of ways to fix an, an action situation like this, where you're fretting out. I am gonna try the easiest method first, which is just raising up the saddles on the bridge. Let's see, is this right? No! One of these right? I don't remember what these came with, but uh, generally one of these is the one that I need. Ha <laughs> ha! I also learned a lot about Spretzel tuners as I was trying to put those strings on. I thought I broke one, uh, but it turns out it depends on gravity to move a little peg thing out of the way, and then you screw the peg thing back in once you got your string through the hole. My favorite style of tuner is the Fender Vintage style. It looks like it's not going to work, but it super duper does. Blam! All right, that was not enough. You know, might be able to shim the neck, although I really don't want to. It's easier to get a difficult guitar to play nice up and down the neck than it is to solve like world hunger. Huh, I guess I'm gonna try a shim because then saddles are up high. Okay, so my plan here 
is to loosen all four neck bolts and just put a little something up on top here. I have loosened the strings significantly before starting this weirdness. Probably don't need to shoot all of this. Also, I'm going to go back to the power tool. Anything cockeyed down there? Well, yeah. There's some excess paint that could be fucking this up. So, this is not a problem with a robot graves neck. This is a problem with spray painting your damn guitar. Uh, sometimes you get a buildup of paint where it doesn't belong. They say a business card is about the right thickness to try first with a shim. But I'm just going to use some construction paper. <laughs> Maybe I should have tried this on like a not spray painted guitar first. Well, guess what? I didn't. I'm gonna have to put those strings back in the nut. Up we go. Oh, you're getting tough with me, huh? Well, I'll show you who's tough. Me. Put some strings back in nuts, put some strings back in nuts. <laughs> this string is the loosest. Fuck! I guess I'll go find another 11. It's been a real long time since I tuned a uh, three on a side and stuff. Longer than that since I've used any sort of locking tuning. I'm just, I'm just so glad I'm hearing the strings ring right now. Awesome. So it works when it's not tuned. There. Tune in with the tuner. This is how we tune. I can already feel the like the resonance, I guess. All right, I'm tuned. Next on, uh, I uh, uh, I'm gonna do a cursory check for intonation. This is not pro as fuck, by the way, but this is how I do it. Uh, play the harmonic, then play the 12th fret. Um, they're all decent. They're all close. I'm not going to set the intonation right now. Cause I wanna hear this son of a bitch. All right, here goes nothing. <laughs> 